So, time and time again, I'm always complaining about the guys on my fantasy team. I'm in a league with a whole bunch of other YouTubers that you might be aware of, Hot Take Hockey, Audie James, a few other YouTubers that cover other sports, but all in all, my hockey pool has been quite intense. No longer am I first in the league like I was literally seven days ago, I'm now fifth. It's been really tight, and a lot of the guys on my team have been underperforming. The ups and the downs come with teams like the Ottawa Senators, where I have Alex Dabrinkat. It comes with the Canucks, where I have Bo Horvat and Andre Kuzmenko. But one of the guys that has very consistently been one of my best players, if not the absolute best, especially since he now has a left-wing eligibility, is none other than New Jersey Devils franchise center, Jack Hughes. And yeah, did you see that? I slipped it in right there. Franchise center. Book it, baby. He is right up there in that category, and I'm not going to dispute that any longer. Let's talk today about Jack Hughes and the point production he has had so far, as well as some of the other things that I had seen popping up on my Reddit feed. But Jack Hughes has been on a pretty big heater as of late. Take a look at what the 21-year-old forward has done so far in his last sample size before yesterday's San Jose game. In his previous five games played, the guy has five goals, four assists for nine total points on the sample. He's also got 16 points in his last 10 games, with 11 goals in that process. Jack Hughes has been producing for my fantasy team because this guy scores goals like it's nobody's business. Even yesterday, you saw yourselves probably one of the most hype goals that Jack Hughes has scored in a while, even though it wasn't really, like, the best goal. It's a wrist shot that's taken from the perimeter that goes in off of Eric Carlson's stick. That's not really all that crazy of a move when you think about it. But when you consider the context of the game, San Jose versus New Jersey, San Jose has the lead with seconds to go in the third period. This Jack Hughes goal to tie things up in the last 10 seconds of the game... That, in and of itself, was extremely hype. He gets the pass from the point man, he walks in, just snaps it towards the goal. There's Andre Palat right there in the slot, and initially it's thought that Palat is the guy who tips it in, but no, Jack Hughes' shot goes off of Eric Carlson's stick instead, not Palat's, which is why the goal is ultimately awarded to Jack. But with this goal, Jack Hughes now has himself 29 goals on the season, and it's pretty good seeing how much he's been producing at this rate. Let's do the math over here, because at the time of recording this audio, Elite Prospects is not updated. Jack Hughes has himself a total of 29 goals in 44 games played. Let's do 29 divvy 44, multiplied out by the available games he's able to play, which is 81. He's on pace for 53 goals, and that is a pretty good number if I do say so myself. Not gonna say that it's guaranteed or whatever, but Jack Hughes has had so many multi-goal games that I feel like at this point he is slowly becoming more realistically possible to hitting that 45-plus goal mark. And additionally to that, he's got himself a total of 55 points in that 44-game sample that's on pace for about 101 points. Now, Obviously, that's towing the line, and you can't really expect every single player who is on pace for 100 points at this point in the year to get 100 points. Some guys are going to fall off, it's inevitable. But for Jack Hughes and the way this guy has been dominating the game as of late, it's been a real treat just seeing all the production he's able to get, seeing the pizzazz, seeing the skill, the star power, the mindset that he has towards creating offense where he's kind of thinking sometimes, okay, I'm just going to do it myself. And I can do it myself because I'm Jack Hughes and I'm that gosh darn talented. When Jack Hughes decides to go for a skate or decides to maybe force things a little bit, sometimes it doesn't work. Of course, no player is perfect. Even Connor McDavid has a turnover once in a while. But for Jack Hughes, he is sort of in that mold where it's like you could really see just the skating and how it carries his game, how his offensive willingness and assertiveness, his initiation is able to translate in the points out there on the ice. In fact, this is a stat from the other day before the San Jose game that I wanted to read to you here posted by Never Been to Idaho on the Devils subreddit. Halfway through the season, Hughes has enough goals to have led the Devils in goals the last four years. It's an unreal stat. No Devil has scored 28 goals in a season since Taylor Hall. To make it even crazier, he would have led the Devils every year but two since Ilya Kovalchuk left. So not only is Jack Hughes going out there and being this good player for my fantasy... Okay, I'm going to shut up about my fantasy team, but like, being this good player for the Devils, but he is such a good player for New Jersey that they haven't really seen anybody be this good in four years. 
Taylor Hall in his heart-winning season saw him put up 39 goals and 93 total points in 2017-2018. That was ages ago. And I feel like for Jack Hughes, like, the fact that the Devils were so bad after Taylor Hall had that year and they lucked into getting the first overall pick and Taylor Hall was traded shortly after that draft was completed, I mean, it was kind of poetic seeing all the first overall picks translating on that team. Nico to Taylor Hall to Jack Hughes, it was strange. But you take a look at all the other New Jersey teams and how they've transpired over the years. I mean, Ilya Kovalchuk was here a long time ago, and having the stat of Jack Hughes being able to lead the Devils in goals aside from two seasons since Kovalchuk's departure, that in which was in 2013, it kind of goes to show you just why Devils fans seem to like this guy so much. Not only because he's legitimately good at hockey, but because, I mean, the team kind of needs a savior, no? Taylor Hall was good, but Taylor Hall fell off really quickly, and he was never really young enough to really be that New Jersey devil at heart, you know? A guy like Nico or a guy like Jack Hughes, these guys have been drafted, developed, and primed into NHL stars by the Devils, so there's a lot more attachment there. Furthermore, you have yourselves this stat that popped up as well, posted on the subreddit by the Direwolf21. This is Hughes' card from The Athletic. He is already elite, and he is barely getting started. Attached is the Athletics model of expected value as well as the actual value. Jack Hughes is making $8 million a season, and that contract goes for eight seasons. It kicked in earlier this year, so it expires in 2030. But this guy is worth as much as $15 million in terms of his value on the ice. Now, there are metrics that the Athletic uses to calculate these numbers. How good they are, essentially, is what you need to know. There are some other stats like expected goals, penalty differentials, offensive plus minus, usage plus minus, GSVA. There's a lot of stuff in here, but Jack Hughes is one of the top percentile players in almost all of these categories. The worst one is his usage plus minus, which he is a top 29% top player in the NHL, which varies from the top 4%, top 3%, top 1% of the player stat lines that he has for pretty much everything else. Goals, assists, points, and all that. It talks about projected 2023 numbers, the historical data, etc. It says here that Hughes is on pace for 99 points, not because of the math, the points now divided by games played now multiplied out by 81, but because of the projected, let's just say, decline, because not everybody's going to be able to sustain a completely solid production rate for an entire season. When taking that decline into account, the Athletic still has him at 99 points on the year. So that is how good this guy has been already. And of course, in the comment section, everybody's talked about how $8 million seems to be a steal. And quite frankly, I'd have to agree. Sure, the Devils had to wait a little bit before shelling out that money, waited until he had a 56-point year to give him that contract extension. But now, I mean, taking a look at how good he has been this year, I mean, he's got more goals in fewer games than last season. He's got admittedly fewer assists, but his production pace is a lot better this year than last, and he's healthy. Of course, knock on wood, he stays healthy, but at the same time, 81 games played on pace for 50-something goals and 100-something points, that definitely isn't bad for a guy who is only 21 years old and signed at $8 million a season till 2030. You talk about that Leon Dreisaitl contract, how that deal was seen as a pretty big steal, Nathan McKinnon was seen as a big steal as well, David Pasternak for a while. Sure, not every one of these guys was signed extremely long-term, some of them were on a little bit shorter bridge deals, etc., etc., but for Jack Hughes, I mean, when this contract expires and the guy is, what, he's 21 right now, he'll be 22 by the time the first year of the contract ends and add seven years to that, he'll be 29 years old when the contract expires. The New Jersey Devils, who are already a wagon by the way, will probably have themselves a few years of playoff success and maybe even a little bit more than that. Who really knows? And so for Jack Hughes, I'm going to go out there and say it. Franchise guy, there's no debate anymore. This is a franchise caliber player, a franchise defining player, somebody who transcends the label of being elite and a guy whom the New Jersey Devils can build around for the next eight years. Now, of course, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens when Luke Hughes comes along, when Simo Nemich comes along, when everybody else in the prospect system comes along, because they still have a lot of good young guys. Man, New Jersey, please take Carter Garland off the Vancouver Canucks' hands and give us one of your good defensemen. What am I saying, us, as if I'm a part of the team? I'm not. But either way, talk to the console your thoughts about Jack Hughes and his development so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... 
Bye.